Yes, Benjamin Warmers, welcome back. Episode 17? 17. Man, we're recording too many of these. It's, uh, it's all good. Surprised we got this far. Yeah, I'm. Thank you. Thank you, Dill, Baldy, and everyone at Clubby Sports for keeping us here. Hey, man, I'm sweating bullets at the moment. Not only because it's th- like 35 degrees in here, but. It's weird we're wearing jackets. Yeah. Well, man, last Jimmy night. Wearing jackets. Last night was a pod- movie, man. Last night was so crazy. What were we doing at. A reasonable hour in the morning, man. Will's been very grumpy this morning. <laughs> until now, until we got the pod going, he's been a little bit grumpy. Woke up a bit. I've sweated hung. out. I've Woke sweated out. Hungry. All, I've sweated out a lot of the sleep. Um, dehydrated. Yeah, dehydrated. Yeah, we so. got the beers. We got we got a little bit rinsed. Uh, we went to the Essendon AFLW Best and Fairest, which was um, sensible, behavable doing some content on the red carpet and then um then the two boys who we haven't introduced but the podcast yes we've got maddie knight and jim brady yeah yes. the uh the boys from adelaide rocked up at the end of the bnf and uh we, we hit we hit the town we we went further we took it further we, we went back to adelaide firstly <laughs> we do want to say thank you to essendon for having us at the bnf it was an awesome experience it was the first one i've ever gone to thank you Cass, for giving us tickets to the BNF, sat on the table with the whole digital team, and geez, mate, my my arm. He had my four beers in his act. <laughs> like he's oh. at four thousand. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> lads, lads, lads. <laughs> nah, it was good fun. He could have um, driven home for the BNF. <laughs> <laughs> he's right. He's like he had, fucking, had a rager. I probably could have. <laughs> the the guavas were going down, all right? The guava cruisers were going down a treat. Matty Knight has kicked down the front door, straight <laughs> off the plane. Guava cruiser slab in arm. And he's handing them out like it's Alan DeGeneres on a, <laughs> on a fucking talk show. So well, it uh, looks similar too. Well, Absolutely. I've, oh, to, I've, I've gone to everyone's local favourite establishment, the, the Riser, to try and get some drinks. Just asked for a mix pack and said, oh, we can only do them in straight. So I said, oh, get us 24 guavas. <laughs> so, yeah. That's how, we, that's how we So we, um, we, we were a little bit hung this morning. We've been down to Jethro's, had a coffee and a toasty. We were good to go. Shrey's in the uh, studio. He'll be on a bit later in the podcast. He's dancing in the background here. Um, but we oh, put a shirt on ha- Shrey. Far <laughs> out. Crush, Not crush his hat. Uh. Yeah. Jim, how did we get home last night? Because uh, we... Uber prices were 140 bucks. Yeah, not good. We neuroned it. Neuron. Neuron. <laughs> <laughs> Neuron <laughs> scooted it. Yeah. Yeah. So f- or, uh, yeah, I heard Lime Scooter. I don't think we got on those. We couldn't find the Lime Scooters. We are trying to find them, but... We, we jumped on it. some scooters and we scooted about 12 kilometres home yeah. in the early hours of the morning. And what an adventure it was. And um, just But we were under the limit for legal yeah, reasons. Yeah, for any cops listening to this and podcast. And we were all wearing helmets <laughs> yeah. for legal reasons. Yeah. Drank a lot of water yeah. for And we there. definitely weren't riding on the road. No. Nah. Nah. All the tram tracks. We were on the bike lane. Bike lane. Yeah, yeah. And the footpath when no one was there. And we actually stopped at every lights and looked both ways we used our <laughs> indicators as well and parked the scooters very responsibly yeah. <laughs> it was Christ, actually, this is going to be a long podcast <laughs> this is a great, it was actually podcast, a great way to finish the night though yeah. just a bit of fresh air yeah, through the hair nice. got to see some sights in Melbourne we went out to look at Rod Laver Arena we yeah. went out to stick at tennis we did our MCG tour at about 3 in the morning yeah we did that um, what mm. else did we get up to are we and- Amy Park <laughs> Yeah Went past Punt Road And it was Road. only $11 Yeah, yeah. Discount um, <laughs> How good It was the Adelaide discount Anyways yeah. we're the boys from Adelaide on the pod Matty Knight Jim Brady Obviously Jim Brady Big feature of the Div 12 Resi season Cameraman Jim Matty Knight Big mid-season recruit Mate, To the he... Div 12 Resi He's ended up winning the leading goal kicker Playing <laughs> how many games? F- I think four games are played in the Left end, foot so. sniper yeah. He's coming And he's won the leading games. goal kicker Of the Div 12 Resi How many goals did you snag? I think nine. <laughs> nine, 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 nine takes twice. it. Nine will get you a trophy in the Div 12 Resis. I'm yet to pick it up from Matty Lucas as well. Shrey, so. that could have been you. How many oh. did you kick, Shrey? One. Oh, shit. One. Oh, damn it. In a four-footed game. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, yeah. well there's a new that. club on the horizon. There is a new... The Div 12 Resis, obviously, we made the move to Melbourne. We're, we're looking for a club still, and we're searching, and we're, we're going we're gonna to take the Div 12s to Melbourne. But the Div 12 from Adelaide... Have shifted. There's been a trade period. I don't know what to call it. Like an explosion. It's just it's exploded through Adelaide. I've seen it all over my TikTok feed. What's the go, Maddie Knight? Tell us what is happening in 2024. Yeah. Also, uh, obviously, been coaching down at uh, Woodville West Torrens and thought I'd go and ply my trade, uh, coaching my own team. And uh, if I want to go further with it, that's what you got to do. And I thought, well, 
And they said, you know, who can you bring? And, you know, can you bring anyone from the Eagles? And that I said, oh, we'll sort that out. But my number one recruit that I had to bring was, was Jim Brady. And it's the club didn't so, quite understand why I had to bring Jim. But now they are very thankful that yeah. we brought Jim. So what's the club? What's the club you signed on at? Yeah, Athelston. Uh, so in the, the northeast, in the foothills. Uh, played Div 2 in the MO. So a good standard of comp. The Raggies. Check, the Raggies. So um, the club uh, is humming. So you went from Woodville West Torrens. You've got... Trying to think of some of the names that we've got there. We might have Jimmy Tumpus, who played some AFL football. Jesse Lonigan played some AFL football. Riley Knight. The Menzels, Riley Knight, Tyler Jimmy Welsh. Rowe. Scott Welsh. Is I, don't, I don't know if we can take Tyler Welsh out of the Eagles and put him in an Amos club. I don't know if that's how the draft works. But <laughs> you know, no, I'm man. thinking of ex AFL players who might be able to put on your resume when with, you're going to apply to clubs. With the power of media and <laughs> with the, the power, power of the, the resumes. There's, there's been a few inquiries. So already. when you were shopping around for clubs or when clubs were coming to you with offers, were you going, hey, Here's a list of names I might be able to attract out. And where did Jim sit on the list? Jim was number one. Well, I, I, I think I think footy clubs and, you know, these stuff about top-end talent and, and getting in these blokes in AFL and that, it's all a myth. Because you just want you want 22 blokes that can play their role. But what you need is you need resis, because they actually are the ones that drive your club. They drive your social events uh, and they drive your culture in your club. So Jim was number one on that list. Uh, and then I think Riley Knight was number two. So uh, Jim, very, very important person in uh, my cog in terms of going coaching my own footy club. I did see the sign on post, Jim. We've, he's managed to drag you out of Lockleys. Yes. Managed to drag you out of the red and blue, out to the raggies. What did it take? Because I did see there was a washing machine involved. Yeah. Yeah, we got the... Uh the washing machine that wasn't being used uh i don't think it, it even worked but you know fifty dollars to repair it down at the the mechanics <laughs> you, <laughs> so you know what you that's better than that giving up mitch a few Greg, wasn't it, as well Griggy, yeah so mitch, mitch Griggs sent the washing machine to lockley's he did and lockley sent his former. one because he got a new one oh, and, okay um the good guys <laughs> Are they sponsors, sponsors of the show? Sponsors. We're soon to be sponsors, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe, so, maybe they'll jump on. Lockley's at least got a, a washing machine that doesn't work, so <laughs> lovely. But yeah, well... That's the sort of trade I'd expect for Shrey, not really this former state under-15 captain. It was a captain. bit of a stitch up, that, that trade for the Lockley's boys, but... Yeah. Hey, it's paying dividends nah, for Lockleys the Raggies. will hopefully have a good season without us, and... Uh, Without there me. could be. I've heard some rumours of potential clashes, like uh, not in a in a fiery way, but it could be an Athelstan and Lockley's bit of rivalry coming together to play some exposition games. Ooh. Well, we're trying to, we're trying to tee up at the moment a, a trial game. So our first trial, we're trying to tee up against Lockley. So I'm just waiting Ooh. for the tick of approval. I booked the date, just waiting for the tick of approval from them that we're going to play them. But you know, we talk about big recruits and. You know, everyone's. We've had fifty on the track each week. Jim's but hasn't missed a session. I've seen him in the TikToks. Yet, yet to train. He, oh, oh, it's, it's, it's dubious because if you go watch what's the account called uh, AFC Raggies <laughs> yes. on TikTok it's going to be it's going to blow up in 2024 we know it is because it's got Jim Brady running it can't not blow up yeah. but you've been doing some pre-season work and Jim has been kicking some torps <laughs> yes. that's yes. the important pre-season <laughs> work he's been doing of, the running he's been a part of the coaching staff early he's, he's I've had come, him on the end of the cones I've been standing there my arms crossed uh, <laughs> looking at the boys he's coming back <laughs> from a serious knee injury you can't expect him to be doing 2k time trials he's nah, just yeah. got to let, let, well, let I did loose do that, but yeah. <laughs> he, said, he said I can't get injured for cricket season so um, that's true. he's yeah, uh, no, nah, he's he's been in good nick the boys are loving him they've He's already one of the boys, but um, he did. I noticed he put up the day of us at iPerform in the gym and he showed me the edit and uh, there's a, one of him in there doing a, a deadlift in there. And thought, hey, I, I didn't see you actually do a workout, but he just went and did one deadlift just to one get deadlift. himself into yeah. the video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's uh, done the session. Had had fake to, it till um, you make it. <laughs> <laughs> had to get that one in there, so yeah. No, and I actually edited that video before the end of the session too. Yeah, he did. <laughs> so the boys it. were still on the track. And they you, were still and, going. And yeah. your one deadlift was on TikTok it was already. already. It was ready up. <laughs> did you green screen on a few more 20, 20 kilo plates yeah. for the, for the yeah. deadlift? Absolutely. Well, we went down to Athelstan the other week when we were back in Adelaide. And I've been to a lot of AFL clubs in Victoria since we've moved here. And I've been to a lot of VFL clubs. And I cannot describe how big this joint is. It is like the pyramids of Egypt down when in Athelstan. When I walked in, I thought I was walking into AFL House. And it was just in the, the burbs of Adelaide. Big, yeah. big $8 million redevelopment down in Athelstan. They've got yeah. change rooms the size of Marvel Stadium under, underground. Mm -hmm. Change rooms. Yep. Players race. It's good for content. 
ridiculous. It's been it's been good. If you ever look, Milk Boy Finn's got a nice little tour of the change rooms up Wait, on his Instagram. Have you, so you've, you've obviously got um, the washing machine trade for Jim. What's the trade you're going to offer for Milk Boy Finn? Don't know. We haven't we haven't quite uh, come to a, a negotiation that fits. He's hard to negotiate with. Yeah, it doesn't hasn't fitted for both clubs yet. So Does we're working on contract? that. It's um, he's a free agent, but he's hard to negotiate <laughs> I think it's, with. It's a, he's got a player um, clause. Yeah, player clause. Oh, and and his manager's there, really yeah. hard to deal with. Um, it's that it's that um checkers guy. He's, <laughs> he's a pain in the ass to deal with. I told him to ask for a thousand dollars for the yeah. season. Yeah, so. and we can probably find that for Finney. Um, <laughs> imagine couple, imagine couple what Ubers. a fourteen-year-old can uh, <laughs> can do with a thousand bucks. I don't think that a thousand dollars is seeing it. Past round five. <laughs> yeah, hopefully he's buying the boys plenty of chalky milk. But uh, no, nah, the facility's unreal. I actually signed. I didn't talk to any other clubs. I wasn't thinking of leaving the Eagles and signed without seeing the facility and that. Just got told it was a good facility. And then when I actually rocked up to meet the players for the first time, I was a bit like, what uh, What am I walking into here? Mm. This is unbelievable. So very happy with the club and uh, yeah, a lot of good people down there. And the boys will be stoked that they're getting a good mention on the potty as well. <laughs> Yeah. No, nah, it's gonna be great. I think uh, I haven't officially announced it, but I think I'll come play. Yeah, we need to get that out. Play a game, hopefully. Don't know if we should announce it right now, but we just said on the potty, so oh, hopefully yeah. the, the six people that listen oh, to this will yeah. um <laughs> will hear it. But I think I'll come back to Adelaide and, and run around for a game in the D grade if you've got a spot for me. Yeah, yeah well, there's no D grade at C two, but we'll get you. In the we have an inclusion we'll get, team we'll if you want to play. We'll get into C two. Trey might have to play in the inclusion side though. <laughs> <laughs> They do quite well there. <laughs> staying in the pod. Yeah, that is staying right. in the pod. That'll be right. The inclusion boys are great. I coach the, the state boys. They, they love this stuff, so they'll be stoked that they get yeah. our little Well, run. we'll come down and run Chalky Milk for the inclusion team. We all might even come across. Yep. We'll Mate, get, um, I'm, I'm fainted to come we'll across. We'll get in. He can miss a goal from 48. He did that in the biggest game of Rezies, so 30 metres out. <laughs> Let's not drop it up. Oh, it was close to 40. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's fantastic. So we'll come out to Athens at some point this year, but I think it's almost time we grab the old Schrader aid yeah, sitting behind the desk. He's doing some. He's, he's acting like a DJ. He's got headphones on behind the mixing desk right now, doing a bit of Fred again. <laughs> um, so let's get him get him off the mixing desk and get him on the pod. All right, welcome to the table, Schrader aid. We've reunited the housemates of old. It's Shrey, Jim, Checkers, myself, and Matty Knight at the table. Yeah. Still, we've kept him around. Will Taylor is now doing the Fred again mixing behind the desk. Yeah, he's on fire. So for anyone who didn't know, oh. we d- we did live in a house. We lived in a mansion Very together. Nice house. Matt, Spotify wrapped. Spotify wrapped. Do you want to talk? We, 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 we didn't even even intro Trader. Do you want to talk Spotify wrapped? So who was everyone's number one artist, by the way? Because Freddie Gang was mine. I was just, mine uh, was Jack Harlow. It was Taylor Swift. Mine was myself. <laughs> really? Just because I don't listen to a lot of Spotify, and wow. anytime I upload a track to Spotify, oh. I just listen to make sure it works. Yeah, Love true. That. So no, <laughs> the, the hours weren't the hours <laughs> went very high. I, I like T Swift. That's good. Taylor Swift. That's yeah, good. yeah, concert in Feb. Can't wait. So oh, I, I couldn't post mine because I think I would have got roast. Yeah, I, I would have <laughs> seen a couple a uh, couple of right hooks coming your way. <laughs> right hooks. Jeez. <laughs> what was mine? Didn't know. Aggressive. Couple of well, kids. Trader is at the table now. We did live yes. in a house together. We've yes. had Jim on a previous pod but we sort of we were rushed for time we're a little bit rushed for time today as well because yeah. it's quite warm and we want to get out to the beach Shrey really wants to get to the beach get his rig out so yeah I'm very excited about the beach um, let's go beach but we, we, we can finally chat to Jim about some of the stuff that went down in the uh, mansion back gosh. in Adelaide before we moved to Melbourne yes we tried to do that last time we were here we didn't get enough out of him I want to hear some goss I want to hear how it's going in Adelaide without us around yeah I know you've obviously linked up with the nightmare a little bit yeah, Jim's just Jim's editing TikToks right now. Jim is just, <laughs> I'm just trying to find the my top five artists, but we'll, <laughs> oh my gosh, pass that up. Yeah, that's right. I'm fixated, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure. No, you wouldn't know the rest of them. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so jo- Joel's trying to ask the question twice. <laughs> yeah, stories. Yeah, yeah. 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 How, yeah. How's it going without the, the boys in Adelaide? Was uh, it's been, been took a little bit to adjust. Probably a bit uh, quieter. It's been a bit, yeah, less chaotic. And, less, uh, shoe, less shoes <laughs> around your house. Electricity bills aren't uh, as oh, steep. Oh, uh, Jesus Christ. I'll tell you that Trey sure. left the aircon on last night at our house. Yes, I did, but it's because I knew there was a few bodies going to be in the lounge room, and I thought the boys need to come home for a cool yeah, room. I'm not complaining. So that they don't it, yeah. overheat and just pass away in the sleep. For anyone who doesn't have reference, we paid a $3,000 electricity bill for a quarter in Adelaide. Oh, where we had The aircon didn't go off for 60 days. There was, only three, <laughs> there was only three people in our house at that point, too. No, nah, there was four. I think that was in between housemates. Yeah. <laughs> I we think there might have even been visitors. five. How many, oh, how many, we have? Oh, how many did we have in the house at once? No. We had, we had oh, the gather round, we had eight, nine we, we had bodies. 43 people sleeping yeah. in our lounge room. But at one, one point, we had Friday five people living in that house. Yeah. So you've linked up with a nightmare, Jim. 
I've seen some new content. The justice for gym tags disappeared. Yeah, it's sort yeah, of tied cool. up. Might re- rejuvenate tomorrow. We'll <laughs> <laughs> might be a scenario that might call for it. No <laughs> He's manifesting it. He's manifesting that we're going to ditch him. No, but yeah. um, you've been playing cricket. Been playing cricket with mm. the nightmare. Um, I was uh, yeah looking for a club to play, and uh, luckily the nightmare got me out to play a few games for Trinity. Old He's got Kalidans. a few contacts, old nightmare. Yeah, I've does. seen you've. I blew Where'd my you mind. start out? Because you've played for a few clubs this year. We we're in round five or round six, and you've played for four different clubs. I've played. I was Sandy Creek. <laughs> so you were signed on at Sandy Creek. I signed sealed signed, uh, delivered. Signed sealed delivered. Did you play Sandys. any games? Uh, no, because they uh, forfeited and uh, they refused to put me under someone else's name for one of the other games. Jeez. Jeez. Apparently they get fined for that or something. Oh. Oh, man, making it hard for you. Who cares? Um, <laughs> but yeah, and then uh, obviously Trinity, South Goula now. Mm. So that's awesome. And, and then you've got the Redbacks coming up soon. And obviously the Redbacks Second as well. Level. So I've played for four different <laughs> cricket associations. in the, Well, actually, yeah, because Barossa, Adelaide Turf, Saka. Pretty how does great. how does Nightmare go with a stick? I've seen some highlights. He looks like he hits some He's okay. Handy. Um, mm. He bats like Cozzy. Um, yeah, that's that's all. Just bats like, yeah, yeah. like Mark Cosgrove. I was going to say a hybrid between two, but I can't actually think of maybe a Darren Lehman and a <laughs> Cosgrove. It's done you well. He's still after you. A couple of Northern boys. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you. Yeah, no, that's yeah. pretty good. And how, sure does Jim, can, how does Jim go with the stick night? Jim, good. Like, I think when Jim first, when we first come out to play, we've rolled up to the first game with about 10 minutes till the first ball was bowled and the skipper <laughs> goes, oh, great. Like, I've got my opening bowler. Like, I used to bowl off the long run, obviously a lot of kilos ago, and now uh, can't be bothered doing that. So I'm not bowling. Jim goes, oh, I'll do whatever you need me to do. I can bowl spin. <laughs> I can bowl offies. I can bowl leggies. <laughs> I can bowl pace. And it hasn't, hasn't actually bowled any... Skipper goes, great, you two are opening the bowling. We've got, oh, oh, here we go. Yeah. We've, just, we've just knocked off a bar me. And Jim, <laughs> <laughs> so bowled, opened up, blowing an absolute gasket. Jim's come on second over, wide off the pitch. Steve like Harmison. Steve Harmison like areas. Massively off the pitch. Second head high, Head high, no ball. And I'm sort of thinking, oh, these blokes are going to be thinking, who have you brought Did out? you look at the captain after that? So you've gone Steve Harmison wide, head high, no ball. And you've obviously told the captain you can bowl anything and you can bowl wheels. And <laughs> have you been, have you been watching my tape? Is that what you've oh, been doing? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I wasn't lying when I said I could bowl anything. It just means like, <laughs> <laughs> you can go anywhere as well. And that some might not be legitimate del- deliveries. So my, my first <laughs> legitimate. legitimate delivery... It was got, a wicket. Got the wicket. It was a full so, toss wicket. Full oh, toss. We yeah. couldn't believe it. I'm thinking, Me oh, the, the skipper's going to be going, who is your mate? Because I said, oh, like, he can actually, he can play. Mm. And uh, then Jim's pulled pulled out a, a low full toss for his third delivery. What do they call it? It's like sharking on the, on the pool table. Yeah. Pool shark. He was <laughs> just, Lowy. he was just, just dishing up some head high full. Well, we played a game the other week and the opening bowler bowled seven head high full tosses in the first <laughs> over. They weren't even full toss. That's illegal. Like, they yeah, were, well, no, they it is moves. illegal. But that is seven extras to the table. <laughs> so our coach just said, keep him in. Let him go. There and was no danger. Five overs. There, there was, was no bu- danger of him hitting anybody in the head. They were going that high. Like yeah, was they were going over the keeper's head. Like 15 <laughs> metre high. Just like, he may as well just shot put at it. <laughs> I don't mind it. Yeah, so we left him in the attack. We let him bowl out because That's it was smart. extras. In any normal grade of cricket, after three head eye full tosses, mm. you meant to get taken yeah. out, I'm pretty two. sure. Two. Two now. Yeah. Um, but the Jim cap- had two on the weekend. They left him on and he got, ended up oh, taking two and then for then I bowled some guy and he's like, wait, wasn't he meant to come off? Only when you bowled him. Jim's taken two for four off one over or two overs in yeah, the end or one, one, over. Over, one over you bowled. Yeah. And he's again bowled two <laughs> high full tosses. <laughs> so there's a bit of wild thing about him. There's a yeah. bit of uh, first yeah. ball was don't know where it's going. Was an LBW though, so that was great. <laughs> first ball, first, first ball, legitimate ball what? again. So I'm on a I'm on a hat trick with first legitimate <laughs> delivery <laughs> thing wickets. There's something in that. So right. Nida, you've got a few connections in your past in the in the in the cupboard of the nightmare. Obviously, a leading goal kicker at Lockley. He's playing mm. cricket this year, coaching Athelstan, coaching Woodville West Torrens. That's as much as we know on the podcast so far but where I met you was at Cotton Media and I think we should bring that up and have a little chat you've got a few connections there Mark Cosgrove you do a little bit with him there's a few other partners at Cotton Media Travis Head yep. Brad Bain Brad, Brad Bain, Bain. <laughs> big fan of the podcast um, but what else have we got going on in Cotton Media there's a few ambassadors I've seen yeah we got so and uh, what is it what is Cotton Media yeah Cotton so Cotton stands for King of the North so <laughs> Um, what named, it started, named after Matty Knight it, himself. Yeah, it started as a, uh, a piss take, really, through cricket. It was I was just having a bit of an unreal season and 
was winning some games with the ball or with the bat and um, just started getting and would as you do with cricket you got to celebrate every win as hard as you can and just one night um, started calling myself king of the north and um, <laughs> it's kind of stuck and we turned it into a business and uh, yeah we started in sports media in 2019 obviously massive passion for sport and um, you know talking sport and and uh, podcasting it for local teams and that as well so started with that idea and then um where did it start out was it podcast or was it it was like a vidcast yeah so we're doing more just on facebook um really was just video and reviewing barossa light and gawler footy association Mm. which is a pretty good comp in sa and um yeah got some hits and we end up going into the sandful and and that's how i sort of got into coaching was through that as well so um from there obviously with it connections was around you know we had this little product but how do we expand it to the to the wider audience and through that it was um using connections that we had and Hetty was sort of just coming onto the scene with the aussies at the time and um or just been playing some really good cricket so you know it was a no-brainer to sort of get him in um and mark cosgrove then actually hit us up uh and wanted to do a cricket show and i'd only met cosy one or twice once or twice and uh he wanted to get involved and said, oh, if you want to do it with me, it's like my childhood idol. I'm yeah, like, that was the legit- <laughs> I know Willie's sitting behind the desk now, but in the biggest game of Div 12 Reds, we had Mark Cosgrove play, and there was a period of play where Mark Cosgrove has kicked the ball to Willie, and that might be his life highlight. Having <laughs> having ex-cricket highlight, you know, that was my idol. I have a photo that's done the rounds a little bit on social media from when I was 11 Kid. or 12 years old. Him and Ferg. And I was at the Sheffield Shield and I remember racing up to Mark Cosgrove wanting a photo and then Callum Ferguson just jumped in on it and I was like, oh, <laughs> oh geez. Photo bomb my photo Ferg with <laughs> Um But then Cosie's eyes were shutting in and I was just like, oh. but that was, um, that was the cover of my maths book in year seven. I remember it was a Mark Cosgrove photo. Like he was my idol, been Will's idol. Obviously anyone growing yeah. up in SA, I think Jim would be the same. 100%. It was, he, Darren Lehman was probably in the Australian team a bit too much. So you felt a little bit bad for Mark Cosgrove because he should have been up there. Yeah. And he was just, everyone in SA had a real soft spot for him. He's got an incredible story as well. And I think the average Aussie, we relate with the bigger fella that can hit the ball. and He was and, a Div 12 really well. before the Div 12 yeah, was a thing. Right. So, and he, he's so humble and so is Hetty as well. They're so humble that they don't actually know how big they are like i mean the last sort of six months Hetty might uh well, yeah, be, now be he's, now the he's, last um, couple of months but now he's copping five million likes on an instagram post maybe a little bit different <laughs> yeah, but it's a hell. bit different because he doesn't he doesn't get that so when i've got mark cosgrove messaging me i'm like i've rang 10 blokes telling him i've got cosy messaging me, uh, messaging me and so that's how he got involved and then um uh, long story short, then we got Dan Menzel and involved. He'd just come off Sydney's list and, you know, to have that footy aspect as well. So we're de- delving into footy and cricket, which we're our two. So you're still doing Facebook videos at this point? You've got Cozzy doing Facebook video series. So it was like a vodcast almost. Yeah, we, we've we've sort of transitioned we- a fair bit through COVID. Weekly um, recaps on um, local amateur footy, was it, to begin we- with? That's we- probably where I first saw Cotton pop up. Yeah, on. through the Barossa. And then we did some stuff with local cricket th- with Cos. Um, but we've just probably... Um, through COVID and that pivoted a bit. That COVID hit us pretty hard. I, I went to quit my I quit my job to go full time in February 2020, and then obviously March 2020 COVID hit. Yeah. So and we, local sport got canned. <laughs> so you can't really do vodcasts yeah, on local sport. Sponsors, sponsors weren't willing to pay. Yeah. Uh, all that sort of thing. So what we do now is our, our sports media is, a, is is still a small part of our business and our portfolio, but we actually are a digital marketing company. So that's where. Um, where Jim Brady comes into the piece. Well, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna we got we got some work for Jim coming up, and um, so that's what we do. But you know, it's good to get involved in stuff like this. Uh, the crushers, Shrey's got the hat on, and yes. you know, different different things in Adelaide. If you're involved in sport, you can net, network really well, and mm. and I guess that's what I've been able to do extremely well. And while we're here today, it makes <laughs> a dangerous combo. You got Jim Brady with the iPhone who literally can make anything into content mm-hmm. and then you've got Matty Knight with every single SA ex-cricketer ex-footballer contact be thick. Yeah. it's the a good thi- phone book the, <laughs> thick, the thickest black book in his back pocket of, of roughies to back at Morphville and also <laughs> ex-sports stars to, um, oh, to hit gosh. up so I need more roughies but yeah the contact book is certainly you do pinch yourself sometimes over the years but um, you've been doing some events lately as well yeah so we run a couple of events we're trying to get them up and more so we're going to do one on the Wednesday night haven't told you boys this yet but we're going to do one Wednesday night leading into gather round so um, so we're going to book getting, our flights a little bit earlier yeah <laughs> so I need you boys over Wednesday morning <laughs> <laughs> but um, trying to trying to actually organise uh, like Billy Brownless or someone like that or to, to be a uh, our guest speaker as well so doing more of that stuff because that's the what best what were some of the recent ones you had I know you had just before Christmas no no just had before, just for the end of grand final just yeah. for the end of 
footy season it was yeah, Kane Corns Kane Corns who yeah. was elite he like people talk and you I know you boys love Corns he's in the back of my phone like, case right now I don't know if mm. anyone watching the vodcast might be able to see it but <laughs> Let's we do it. love a bit of Kane Corns. We hopefully him. one day we'll get him on the podcast. Oh, but he's a busy, 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 busy man. Uh, he, he's taking a gone. flight every other day. That he, bloke. He's over. I've seen he's over in America, living up at the moment. But I reckon he'd love to get on this podcast because he loves you boys as well. But mm. he, I had people, and it's disappointing. But I and I, but I get it as well. I had people not want to buy tickets because. Of the reputation the that he reputation. has, but then when you meet him in real life, the reputation is not there. He's Everyone unreal. in that room, and if you listen to some of his podcasts, and he probably said it in the live show as well, but he's really good on it in podcasts. If you listen to Dill Buckley's podcast, obviously friend of the show, also our boss at the moment. Yeah, so <laughs> but he had Cornsy on his podcast, and Kane said some really good stuff about how if you just put pretty bland stuff out into the media you're not going to last very long you'll last one or two years yeah. a lot of ex-footballers retire come out just report the basics so-and-so's injured sick so-and-so's getting traded sick and they just get forgotten and, and yeah. discarded so he's gone all right i'm going to pick a few rogue things each week ham- hammer down on them, double down yeah. on them and of course sometimes people aren't going to agree sometimes mm. people will agree but by having a strong opinion, you will last a long time in the industry. And look at people who have. The Sam Newmans, mm-hmm. Billy Brownless has lasted a long time. Gary yep. Lyons, someone who's very good at doing that. So yep. being assertive, like not just being like bland and boring. Well, and it's taken... I watched something this morning from Hutchie and uh, Damo Barrett was around, around American sports and the access they were talking about the Kelsey podcast. But And that's where Kane, he spoke about, you know, American sports, you got to watch what they do because they do it better than we do in Australia and he's and massive on he's, his American sports he's all over it Kane so everyone in that room even people like there was people there that came and weren't Kane fans but they just came to support us and by the end of it like he had them eating out the palm of his hand well, it's and, his job like, at the end of the day isn't he it was as well great. so like people so he take his opinion sometimes and like be like he's a, he's a you know a fuck with that's what they say yeah. all the time on social media but then when you read into him, well, that is his job to say those opinions. That's what he's getting paid to do. That's what companies are hiring to do is to come in and analyze something and say opinions. So, yep. you know, that's how he's getting his crust and people have to sort of realize you know, everyone gets a crust a different way. Mm-hmm. 100%. Exactly he's right. the goat. We had Treaders and, and Tommy Duday last year. We're on Treadway. It's a controversial it's, it's, one now looking back. Very, <laughs> very. has gone to Brisbane and, yeah. and no. Treaders is obviously about to apply for the Port Adelaide board, which is going to cause a, a storm, I reckon, in the well, media very he's soon. he's trying to take out Hink. Like he wants to, to take out Hinkley and Koshy. He tries to take Hinkley out every, every other game. <laughs> Hand combat. I don't. Yeah. He won't. He won't listen to that podcast, surely. But no. he d- did follow me on Instagram the other day. So he does. Ooh. He does. He, he'll, he'll listen if we stink this. He'll watch it. He follows us Traders, on, on Rezzy's podcast. We'll have you on. We'll let you do a bit of board application stuff, and mm. um, we can bring the boxing gloves and oh, we, can, yes. we can discuss how you're going to hit Kit Hinkley. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey Treaders again. Treaders unreal. Tom. Tom's one of the most unbelievable speakers. I'm stoked for him that he's gone to Brizzy. Uh, he's he will love it up there. He's he's one of the great men. Um, who else did we have? Oh, we had Simon Black. Simon Black was, Ooh, was very, good. very good. We one. bumped into um, him at um, the AFL legend. Grand Final after party, and he was just passing by, and then sort of like was like um, one of his. Uh, it was Chris Johnson's younger son, wasn't it? Yeah, I think was, it was like, Chris oh, Johnson. you got to meet these guys. They do TikTok and stuff. <laughs> and Simon Black was getting the social media. Obviously, he's been on Survivor and he's doing a lot of like live podcasting and, and events and stuff. And he wants to get it all clipped up for social media. He's like, oh, boys, and I was chatting for an hour about social media and, and some video ideas and stuff he's doing, and it was just crazy. I was like pinch me moment like I was like why is it Norm, you know Brownlee Brown Miller Miller just sitting behind Premier me just chatting about TikTok more importantly in the cash converters ad <laughs> <laughs> <And he's, laughs> that, was, that is an old time he's, so, yeah. he's so thankful as well like he, like the whole time he was with us just <clears throat> Maddie, thank you so much for the opportunity I've caught up for him with him for a coffee twice since like gives you the time of day I've spoken to him about coaching and all this sort of stuff yeah. and he's helped me with that like he's an absolute superstar um Johnny Platten, your boy. Johnny Platten. Yeah. Johnny Platten yes. was a late good, good friend Johnny of the Platten. Great, great, great man. Um, who else we had? Greg Blewett. Greg, Greg Blewett was a vintage Blewett. 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 He was also good. Johnny Platten's a good man. Um, and Star, he's, he's suffering a little bit from um, memory loss at the moment. So I wonder how much longer he's going to be doing that sort of stuff. He, he'll keep going. He, I had a beer with him last Friday, actually, oh. uh, Platts. He's, he I did bumped say the same thing. the airport the last two times I've been in Adelaide. I reckon I had my first ever beer with John Platten. I reckon. Like at the footy club, I go. I might have been. I was eighteen. Let's just say that. But uh, yeah, um, I played my first game of seniors, and he bought me a beer. He was um, he, he was in Elizabeth. Mm-hmm. That's where Australia grew up playing yeah, footy. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, the plans are well Elizabeth, connected. Yes. So very, very well, well connected. connected down there. So plans for Cotton in the future. Where are we heading? What have we got coming up? We obviously getting into events. Yeah, moving away a little bit from the live vodcast. Still doing some, I see, with Bainey. Just bits and pieces. Bits and pieces. Mm-hmm. What what's the plans? You got Jim on board now. Are you, yep. you going to knuckle down on Athelstan? 
or are we going to see cotton come back now that COVID's sort of clearing off? Yeah, there's some big things. There's some things in the works. Uh, I'll get married in Feb. So uh, I've uh, I've just been trying to finance that, which is all good (laughs) fun. But um, I think uh, what you'll see is I'm looking to dive head first straight back into it sort of April-ish and give it a real real crack from a from a marketing sense and then doing more of of uh, this sort of stuff as well uh getting back into that game because i enjoy this stuff i enjoy talking shit sitting down with with you boys and and doing that so uh we'll, we'll be jumping back into that space uh, once we get the time and and fully into athelston and, and seeing where that takes us and there might be a couple of little things that i can't announce yet but mm. uh some exciting things that are in the works um that uh we'll see See you've where got, they take you've us. You've got the man next to me, Jim Brady, mm-hmm. who can turn legit. We've said it before. Anything into content. Water so you, so quickly. Wine. Hopefully, hopefully Water into wine, this basically. this link Water up. Into wine into wine. <laughs> Uh, you, you, were, you were walking on water last Jim night. Jim Brady just yeah. compared oh, himself to sm- Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, he walk, might have been walking on water last night. He wasn't this morning. He's <laughs> falling over his uh, own feet. Yeah, there might have been. It's a knee. It's a knee. Yeah. Yeah. How'd, you go, how'd you go when you come up to Gawler? Um, your first session up at Gawler South? Oh, yeah. So the other way. Got a bit of a battle wound. Uh, one of the B-grade boys. Oh, we'll talk about nice, that. Uh, the, your first night at the club. Yeah. So that was a nice initiation. A little initiation. bit of chin. A bit of music. And the, the problem was half the pitch had light on it, half had shade. Oh. So, and the ball was swinging two meters. You know? <laughs> I, I want to talk about casino night. Oh, oh no, no. No. There's, another, there's another piss story. We don't need any more. Oh. We talked about how we we're writing just sound like we're alcoholics now. <laughs> casino night was a big one. We don't drink beer. I've never no. had one in my life. Uh, hard beer. solos. Boo! Well, I thought they were solos, but apparently, you know, they have alcohol. In them. Oh. That's, that's why they banned them. That's why they banned. That's why they banned. They saw Jim Brady tear one I was up. Like, I used to love. The whole solo as a kid, I have 20 of them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, and that walking into the house. Not sponsored by the show, are they? Well, no. hard solo won't exist in a few weeks. So, yeah, what do they call them? Just lemon. Squash. Lemon yummies. Lemon <laughs> 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 yummies. Uh, lemon I'll have a couple of them tonight. Lemon drink with alcohol. All right, I think it's time we bring out a famous segment on the podcast. Yes. We'll sting it up now. All right, welcome back to another episode of... We've already listened to the Resi's podcast, but this is an in-episode episode episode of the universally famous, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. international, renowned, award-winning... What else can I put on top of this? (laughs) Extravagant. Sensational. Yes. um, Incredible. Checkers, check out! Yes! Yes. I'm excited. I was hoping we are going to do this. Yeah, well, it it happens every week. I'm not missed a week. (laughs) Well, I didn't see you coming with a Coles bag, so I wasn't sure. No, well... I did go to the convenience store before we came in, <laughs> and I was looking for a few hangover cures. Okay. Unfortunately, the convenience store were all out of Maximus sports drinks. Okay. Oh, there was no oh. Panadol. Oh. There was no... Hydrolite? I didn't look that far. She went to the medicinal <laughs> area, but... Um, yeah, I was trying to think of what can cure a hangover, and there wasn't really much going on. So I thought, well, if I'm, I can't stitch the boys up. I just can't stitch them up. They've, they've had a big night. Mm. They've caught the plane. They've come out in the turbs mm. with us. They've come from Adelaide. I'm not going to stitch them up too much. So you haven't bought them a beer, have you? That would be a good one, actually. <laughs> that would be good. That would be good. Now I want to rethink this segment. <laughs> but I thought, I'll get them something nice, something tasty, something good. Didn't want to stitch them up too much. And I know, being the resies, we, we like to indulge in some sweet treats from time oh. to time. So I brought in some Nutella sticks. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. these are unreal. Yeah. It won't cure your hangover, but it will taste nice. That's yeah. the thing. I couldn't give you anything gross. Yeah. Um, For I'm people hoping it listening, nice. it's a, a little... Am I ripping these? Yeah, rip it open pack. and spread it's got it around. Nutella and maybe like Ooh. breadsticks. Oh, yeah. That looks like and what I put in the, the toilet this morning. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Me too, actually. exactly what I you want dip to hear. The, you so dip the nice. stick into the Nutella. Let's dig it in right now. Oh, yeah. Let us know how it goes. We'll listen to Maddie go first up. big... <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> big one. Oh, sounded, how do we oh, rate it? Crunchy. Right now, that's a that's a nine out of ten. That's nearly perfect. <laughs> that is as succulent as it gets. What what makes it better? You think? A bit of salt. A bit of salt. <laughs> salt with a Nutella. Oh no, just a bit of garnish on top. Mmm. Let's have a look. All right, Trey's tucking in. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So, really? check this check out. I would have loved to bring like a, a nice, like, I'm trying to think what would cure a hangover, but. Um, yeah. My a gold rush cure, power. My hangover cure is a frozen goat from McDonald's. That's disgusting. Oh, I, I can't do it with the I paper straws. Sugar. Mm. Nah. That is good stuff. Sugar's bad. Trey's right, tucking in for. He's <laughs> going to finish that pack off. We'll have a second one. All right, well, that's another checkers check out done. So, we're going to hit you up 
with the, the final closing mm-hmm. segment as 10 hard questions. Sure. I'm going to go with five first up, then Trey's going to finish with his Trey's. five. All right. Short, sharp answers. I want quick fire. I mean, if we had if we had like a microphone and a TikTok in front of us, it'd be like 10 questions in 60 seconds, but I don't think we have to rush that fast. We no. can go a little bit All slower, right. a little bit more, let your brain At work. Just let your brain work. Yeah, <laughs> my, my brain's not well right now. So. <laughs> All right, here we go. Matt Knight, first up, favourite cricketer to ever play for Australia? Michael Clark. Yeah. Jim? Uh, <laughs> Jason Crazier. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about that one. That was an eight for on debut. Mm. I don't know about that one. Um, in where was he playing? Where India. Was, yeah, yeah. In uh, like he got uh, eight for two hundred or something, but mm. still eight wickets. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jason Krej- one Krejuja. Test. <laughs> one test. One test. Yeah. One test like uh, favorite one favorite domestic cricketer to ever play, to never play for Australia. Mm. Oh God, I was going to go with Brad Hodge, but he pl- he's played. Um, to never play. The answer is Richard Cheekway, by the way. <laughs> uh, G. Um, Tom Cooper played for played. Netherlands. That's rare. Yeah. He played international cricket, but not for That's Australia. Rare. Beautiful, beautiful uh, little like lap. Love to have the ramp. The Tom Cooper story. We might save it for another day. But his wife wanted to belt me one night. Uh, oh, like, oh, well, I couldn't. Didn't have a song request at a DJ gig. <laughs> oh. um, obviously, the goat Ben Menenti needs to play for Australia. Needs to play. Mm. Jesus. I feel like he also needs to get around us more as well. Yeah. Giving us nothing. Hey, he gave me a birthday shout out. He did, did actually he? send me a birthday shout out this year. Um, yeah, actually, yeah, I messaged lot. him and Did he you? gave him a shout out. Yeah, oh, uh, I would have said the games. He's like white line fever, so mm-hmm. he doesn't give us. Mm-hmm. Money, he's trying to get a gig for Australia right now. So mm. I, I would have said I would have said, said Paul, Paul, Paul Rolfe <laughs> <laughs> or Nathan Adcock, captain the Adcock. Redbacks one year. Uh, favorite footballer you've ever come ac- met? You've ever met? Uh, Matt's met it a lot. His black book's thick, so this could be yeah, hard. Have you met Boomer before? Who? Boomer? No, but, but Stacey, Stacey met, met on Boomer. her stay on my partner's um bloody hen show, she's ran into Boomer in the Gold Coast, so I'm getting He wasn't FaceTime. doing the um wasn't doing the half time activity, was he? <laughs> he he was in a bad way and He uh, could have the half time activity, he's got a good rig. He yeah, he um I was getting FaceTimes while I'm in Bali on my buck show. That was unreal, that was a highlight. <laughs> but um Favorite Boomer Boomer would be number one. I I love Boomer. Called my dog after Boomer. I, he's my number one. You're a North fan for those playing yeah. home. I met him as a kid, but oh, um, that still counts. Yeah, that counts. Then you get Boomer at a, a Cont Media function. Yeah, mm. I'd love to team that up. Uh, uh, let's have a think. Uh, like physically talk that you've to met. Them. Yeah, that you've met. To come across. Well, best interaction you've had or. Tex was alright the other week. Yeah, we did bump into Tex. Tex was really good. Clipsal. Very good Tex. value. He loved the Adelaide Ranks. 500. Ranks. Isaac Rankin. Isaac Rankin's is always yeah. a He's his class, good value. man. Mm. So, yeah. right, I'm trying to think who else is good. Three questions. Here we go. Number four. Favourite brand of cricket bat? I No sponsors here. You Cooker, just have... Cooker Kahuna. Cooker Kahuna? Mm. Yeah, that... Yeah. I've always been a kahuna man for the last 10 years. Two cooker kahunas. And Willie's got his kahuna sitting inside at our house on the lounge, and I saw Jim picking it up and Nida picking it up. Mm. They were getting really close to the oven, by the way, so let's like just stay away from that. <laughs> the oven is fixed, isn't the it? Oven is well fixed. done. I grew up loving the Puma Ballistic, the Adam Gilchrist one. Mm. Yeah, that I was, was a V, favorite. best bat ever, Slazenger V900. Uh, yeah, 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 I'm a, so I got a Slazenger V800. That was my bat growing yeah. up. Yeah. All right, last one. Favorite brand of footy boots? Well, since going to King of the North, it's the, the Puma Kings have been what I loved. But yeah. more recently, they've gone to the, the plastic, which I've got a fat foot. So yeah, I skinny, struggle. Yeah. So I, I can't wear them. But the, I was a Puma Kings man. But um, yeah, they're, they're probably still number one. Yeah, probably Nike's. Um, don't Oof. know what model, but <laughs> Nike's. Imperials. I think he's got the Nike Imperials. I've oh, seen them. Or oh, Tempos. I think so. Back in the day, so the temp- I used to have Adidas's actually when I used to play junior footy. Trey, your turn. Five quick questions. Right. What have you got burning on your mind? Not a lot, but I'm going to go favorite pub meal because I'm really, really hungry right now. Favorite pub meal. I, I've just recently changed um, over the last sort of twelve months. I'm a steak. Sta- yeah. Oh. Sta- <laughs> <laughs> Trey is out of voice break. Oh, that's oh, horrible. Yeah. That Nutella's stuck yeah, in your yeah. podcast. But uh, oh. we've, uh, <laughs> Oof, uh, yeah, steak. Steak yeah. for me. Jimmy? I think, um, I know it's not really a pub meal, but probably the AB, the Hanson Road Pizza. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, if you faced six Sean Tate deliveries, how many runs do you make? Zero. I wouldn't I wouldn't get bat on ball. You wouldn't get bat on ball? What are you, Jimmy? 
Uh, it depends where I'm standing in front of the stumps. Or <laughs> <laughs> I might be able to just nick one down nick one a fine out, leg. Just a fine leg? Yeah, that's yeah. a good one. All right, Nardo, you're heavily involved in the Crushers, mate. Who's going to have the biggest season for him? Yeah, biggest one is if we keep him, Josh Carney. He hit 16 sixes for the Jets the other night and 140. Off 50, so, 49 balls. Yeah, mate, so he, he played for the Hurricanes and been on the sixes list. So if as long as he doesn't get picked up and we hold him, uh, I reckon he'll dominate the tournament. Yeah, and Ian Cockburn. There's no cock in there. No, 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 just really was was <laughs> cock. Holland the Gronholm. You want to do a cock review? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yes. That's horrid. Um, BBL just started. Who do you reckon wins the BBL this year? Sheffield Shield predictions. <laughs> That's it's a good question. I, I think the Scorchers. I feel like the Scorchers are yeah. right up there again. I think. The, you know, no rash, uh, rash hurts the strikers. Mm. The stars are terrible last night. Um, he could be competitive. He, he will be good. Night. You know, they'll lose Uzi. They'll lose, they'll lose Manus. Stars. Yeah. Um, Renegades could be good too. Renegades, look Renegades good. are looking nice. I reckon Scorchers uh, could be too good though. But they'll lose. They'll lose Marsh, mm. and I don't know if the if Marsh plays, will they release Green to play for the Scorchers? I don't know. Mm. Mm. What about you, Jimmy? Uh, yeah, probably go Scorchers again. Yeah. yeah. Right. We had this conversation this morning, Nada. Um, Davy <laughs> Warner goes out of the Aussie team at the end of this year. Who takes the opening spot for you? Yeah, it's a great question. There's a lot of stuff around Dave, and I think he still just gets a run because he's our, still our best well, bat. He's the best bat. He's got, he's got that dog in him as well, which yeah, you need. You're not you a lot need of to making runs around the, the nah, country. No, I, I think they'll go. Like, you, your obvious ones are Harris and Renshaw, and that's what. Everyone's talking about Renshaw, and I think that's the way they could go. But um, I don't know. I feel like whoever, whichever opener hits the next hundred, could be the next opener. Trump yeah. had. Trump, well, there's. I don't think. I don't know that will happen. I, I, there's obviously he's opening in the short form, but you never know. He did it in India and did a really good job. So I wouldn't mind seeing him at the top of the order. Mm. How about you, Jimmy? Who would I like to see? Yeah, replace David Warner at the top of the uh, order. Ben Menenti. I like that a lot. There's a big power here to set the tone yeah, early. I'm going again here. He's going <laughs> fucking back into the Nutella. <laughs> but that's five good. questions done, Trey. Yeah, that's five questions. All right, wrap us up. Thanks, Jim and Nida, for coming on the potty. Yeah, I always for, forget that part. Thanks for coming in and tucking thanks in this Nutella oh, and chatting about Cotton Media. And I'm no doubt we'll make some content together coming up soon. We'll come across to Athelstan. We'll get you across to come hopefully play in our new side at some point. But uh, you're wearing a Barossa Crushers hat too, yes. Trey. So you've got the Adelaide Premier yeah. League coming up in January. We'll Huge. hopefully get across and. So I'll open, I was hoping to have a trundle. Are you having a stick in that? Well, I, I, did, I, bought, I bought myself a kit. Um, I bought you four boys a kit as well. So if you um, lose the first few games, can we have a stick in the final? Or? Well, you're not <laughs> in the official draft list, so we can't... You're not in the bin, so we can't get you in, but... We, we, we'll sort something out. There's got to be something. Fact, we might I play you under Ian Cobain. put myself in the draft last year and no one bloody picked me up. Yes. Oh, my God. I forgot about that. I applied for the draft. Yeah. You had to put your micro you and everything didn't tell in, me. And no one picked me up. There was 540 people in the draft and I didn't get fucking drafted. You Jeez. you dogged me. Yeah. You needed to Matty tell Knight me. I would have made sure me. you got on Even our list. I got drafted. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, we'll try and get... I think we're going to try and get you boys over. I've got you fully decked out. Um, the boys are excited. Um, the kits are nice as well so uh, nice go the crushers the that's early Jan so looking forward to that alright sign us out Trey alright guys that's been us please follow us on Spotify and subscribe to us on YouTube please rate the podcast 5 stars wherever you get your podcast and on Spotify hit the notification bell so you get notified when we post our podcast and that's been us cheers let's go get a chicken palmer uh, <laughs>